Hello everybody, welcome to Vroom Vroom Zoom and today this video is basically about my ongoing journey in trying to find a solution to the i30, Kia, Palisade, every, every single Kia or Hyundai product in 2021 pretty much that seems to have the wireless connectivity issue with Apple CarPlay and uh, while I'm still haven't got a solution, I think I could be one step, one little step closer. So this video is about the engineering mode that you can find. So there's a whole bunch of videos and websites about the uh, ways to get into the uh, engineering mode on these units. And so this is the i30, Hyundai i30 2021 base model, eight inch entertainment unit. Here we go. So. There's actually two menus. So if I go to, so on this one with the two knobs, has the little star button. Okay, on this particular model, you click settings. You go into the settings, you go into general. And when you're in this menu, you can follow this procedure. So this is the one that works for me. Um, so you put the volume to seven, seven, tap this button. Then you put the volume to three, and tap this button and then you tap the volume to one and then you tap this button and then it goes to this screen now for my car there's apparently different codes but for mine it's 2400 2400 okay and i'm in the menu so that's one engineering mode menu that you can enter it's actually called a dealer mode um so some websites will tell you that this is the engineering section okay but in here i just found that there's this you can't adjust anything it's definitely a you know a uh, backdoor way to get into some extra menus, but it is not the menu that I'm looking for. The other way to get into this particular unit, engineering mode, another menu is settings, general, and then when you're on the version info update screen, down here, now I've tried a couple of ways and I thought, oh, look, I just can't do it. It doesn't work for this unit. But what you have to be really careful of is that when you tap down here, you've got to tap right in the corner, right down there, okay? In that corner where, where that line comes down and then right on the corner over here to get into this menu. And I feel this is the true engineering mode. So um, it's, I think it was four and one or five and one. One, two, three, four, five, one. So it didn't work. Let me try it again. One, two, three, four, five, one. There you go. See, even then, I just have to do it twice to get it right into the corner. And the... Okay, so then the code for this menu is not 2400. It's For mine, it's 1200, 1200. Apparently, 1900. What? That worked before. Why is that? Let's try 1900. 1900. Oh, what? What? Hang on a sec. Okay, well... Interesting. Last time, 1,200 worked. No. All right, well, let's try 2,400 again. I wonder if it's got some code hopping. It does. There you go. Must have some code hopping. Okay. All right, so there you go. And then you're in a engine, the actual engine. It says actual engineering mode. So the other one is like a dealer mode, and this is the actual engineering mode. All right, so now if you go in here, very encoding. Oh, that's right. So the very encoding was the 1,200. Now nah, it's coming back to me. I'm getting old. There you go. And then in here, you can change a whole bunch of things. Um, and this is what I'm playing with at the moment. So I've been advised. Thank you to whoever that person was that uh, commented on one of my Apple uh, CarPlay wireless issues videos. Here I am. Mine was on one, config one. I'm going to try zero next and see how it goes. But I've also seen someone use two, so I'm, I'm going to just systematically go down and hopefully I can find one that actually works. So there you go. And there's all the heaps of other things you can change here. And um, I'm a little bit scared to touch everything else. <laughs> look, I'm, look, I'm not going to touch all, all of this. There's, there's bits and pieces. I'm, I'm, I, I'm very careful not to touch things because I don't want to ruin anything. But what I do want, there is a factory reset button, by the way. But what I do want is to chain, is to fix the wireless Apple CarPlay problem in this car. So anyway, so here we go. That's it. So let me just see if I can go back here. There you go. So there it is. 
This is the one that gets you into the actual engineering mode, not just a dealer mode. All right, guys, hope this helps out. And uh, please let me know if you've had, you know, any success in uh, solving that uh, wireless problem. All I want, I don't care if it's wired. Like, I'm happy to go back to wired. If there's a USB. I'm happy, more than happy to go back to the USB wired uh, iPhone um, Apple CarPlay. Um, but it's not an option at the moment that I can see. But hopefully, as my experiment goes on, I will find a, I will find a uh, solution. But maybe not. Anyway, that's how you get in, into this special backdoor section. All right. Well, if you in, if you found this video helpful, then uh, I would really appreciate your support by subscribing and uh, yeah, hitting a thumbs up. And all right, that's it. See you next time.